Hi guys, in this second part of this uh, tutorial with to create uh, the iron shader I would like to show you how to create uh, um, more scratchy details on this shader and to do this uh, I am going to create, uh, um, I am going to use uh, a map the first, first thing to do is create uh, a little bit of variances in my diffuse layer so I'm going to my iron shader diffuse layer and in the texture slot I'm going to add a noise uh, procedural noise map uh, here uh, and set it to, to multiply in this case I think the the first thing to do is going to increase my brightness because we must uh, um, balancing the, the lower brightness of the whole uh, uh, material with the brightest area of uh, my noise to create a what we want in this effect to, uh, so we, we have to see uh, a little bit of um, noise on my material so I'm going to increase my brightness to see what it look like for me now is going to set it at 100% to see what I want to see in the diffuse channel but after this pass I'm going to uh, decrease uh, the brightness again to uh, obtain the final result in the diffuse layer for my new iron material so I'm going to my uh, noise shader and I think uh, turbulence is good for me, yeah. I'm going to decrease the global scale to about 20%. Maybe it's good, but I think 30% uh, is better. I'm going to increase my lower my clip to increase the contrast of my material. After all, I'm going to decrease the brightness of the wall shader to create the basic shader of my materials so I think 45% is good for me yeah okay and now let's see what it look like after these few changes Oh, sorry, I got to render it on the picture view and not in the viewport. Okay, as you as you can see, after the, when the render is finished. I have uh, added some noise on my shader in the diffuse channel. That brings out some details on my surface of my material. Uh, compared with the first one in the previous lesson is more realistic for me. But uh, I think the texture is more is too big, so I'm going to decrease it in my. Um, object uh, control uh, menu I'm going to my sphere select the ID material ID uh, on the texture tag on my outliner and going to my projection UV mapping I'm let's try with cubic no better idea I'm going I think UV mapping is good but I'm going to uh, decre uh, decrease the um, the size of my texture so I'm going to tiles in about 5 in U and tiles in B of about 5 I think with the seamless activate my textures work much uh, better and so after doing this passage I'm going to re-render this to picture viewer um, but first of all 
before do this, sorry, I'm going to apply the same uh, noise pattern. So right click on my texture on the on the diffuse color, copy. I'm going to apply it on the bump channel of my shader. See what happens. Okay, amount about 0.1 is good for me. Okay. And this increases some uh, details, uh, some other details on my texture. I think so I'm going to not invert it, so I'm, it's the base is good for me. And so let's see what happened with the render in the picture viewer. Okay, my render is finished, but uh, I think it's not good for me because my um, noise map is don't follow my uh, UV channel settings. So I'm going to decrease uh, it uh, in my uh, material shader because the right things to do is this. Sorry for this uh, this understanding. Sorry. So I'm going to my texture tag and replace with the older settings in my material. I'm going to iron shader. I'm going to my oh, okay I activate bump map and um, in my diffuse channel I'm going to decrease my global scale to about six percent okay and do the same things in my noise channel in the bump map okay this is good and then, now let's see the result in my picture viewer okay uh, i don't finish my render i see here uh, that uh, my noise is to pronunciate in bump channel, so I'm going to stop the render and decrease my uh, bump power to about 0 0.3 and re-render this to see what happens. Okay, the result is better for me. Let's see what happens after the render is finished. And delete the previous one and make some clean up of my picture viewer to see what happened better. Okay, as you can see in the back of my shadow ball, I think uh, my noise is too much uh, unrealistic, but in this area, I, uh, as you can see, my bumps work very good. So I think the only things uh, to do is increase a little bit my texture uh, map uh, size. So close it, go to iron, diffuse channel, um, let's try about 50% in global scale and do the same thing in my noise shader in the band map, 50%. Okay, and let's let's see what happens. Uh, the last thing to do to finish this shader, I think, is uh, inc uh, increase more detail in specular channel with some scratchy edges and um, 
decrease the contrast of the contrast of my um, uh, and diffuse channel to see uh, less uh, splotchy areas in the, this shader like this, this and someone else. Okay, so close it, go to iron shader, diffuse channel and go to 20%. Okay. And now in the specular layer I'm going to apply my scratches texture in my uh, texture channel of the specular color okay and see what is happen after these changes in my render to picture viewer Okay, as you can see, my splotching in my diffuse channel are going off, and I have uh, increased some detail with these scratches on the, my shader. But I think the last last thing to do is going to decrease the the size of my scratches to see more of them in my on my surface too so to do this i'm going to iron and in the scratches i'm going to apply to it uh, uh, no tiles mat projections uh, projector surface on my scratches okay okay and in, in this uh, this tool allows it uh, to control like in the texture tag uh, but applied mm, the the changes only to this uh, texture so i'm going to apply seamless and i'm going to ties about five mm, let's say three and three of this texture turn off seamless because I don't want don't like the result see here and let's try the last render to see what happens Okay, the render is finished, and as you can see, uh, the scratches are more tiny and smallest. But uh, he gave uh, my at my shader uh, very realistic look, and uh, this result is what uh, I want it to be. As you can see, this is the difference between and after my changing with the projection shader in my uh, specular layer of this iron. Okay, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and for this video is all and uh, see you at the next tutorial and follow me for on Instagram please. Thank you so much. Bye!